discussion today is captioning. Captioning is really not that hard to do to your videos and it's really useful and important. People that are deaf and hard of hearing oftentimes you know they can't they're not going to watch your videos if they don't understand what's going on in them and also uh, captioning helps your videos rise higher in search engines. So if you've got a captioned video versus one that's similar to yours, it's not captioned, yours is more likely to place higher. So um, let's get started here. Basically you go to your video in YouTube, log on to your account, and you notice here there's the little CC there in the middle of the screen. I click on CC and it come, up comes, um, I have there are some automatic English captions that come up and I think they show up about a day after you publish your video and or you can publish your own I oftentimes choose you can publish your own by, by clicking on this add new subtitles but what I like to do is just click on the automatic English and from there what happens is you have um, all the all the captions that YouTube feels are the correct captions for your video they're usually oftentimes not all that accurate um, but you can make edits to those, make some changes, and it's usually a lot easier than just writing all your own captions. But what I'm going to do is click on Edit here, and it says Override Existing Subtitles. Yep, I want to overwrite that. So I click on that, and now my video, all my captions come up for my video. And so I'm going to start to watch the video here and listen to the first set of captions. Hey, what's up? Good to see all of you again. Okay, so that's what it says at first. I'm just going to change this again, just make a small little edit. Hey, what's up? Put a little question mark. Good to see all of you again. All of you again. Okay, let's see. Now we'll just take a look at that. You just basically go in and make your edits to this. Hey, what's up? Good to see all of you again. What are we going to do now? Okay, so that what are we going to do now? I'm just going to change it here and just say, what are we we and I'll put it here in the next one going to do now okay I'm just gonna uh, leave that like that for right now to see what it sounds like hey what's up good to see all of you again what are we gonna do now okay so that's pretty good and basically I'll just go through all these edits make any changes I want to make and then I'll click on publish edits and now my edits are all all my captions are live they're not all accurate I still have to go through the rest of it but that's basically what you do so many times I can't do all the edits at once and I'll save the program and after I'm after I've saved it I'll go back in to the video again I after saving it I just go back in and I click on my English captions here and up pops the captions that I just made as well as all the old ones that I haven't edited yet and if you notice here at the bottom of the screen here there's a little little like little timeline here and I can I go to uh, so I go to edit to edit more uh, captions And after I click on that, click on overwrite, up comes these other captions. Uh, up comes my captions. And on the bottom here, you can see in the screen here, um, I can make the captions longer or shorter just by moving this little arrow here, like this. Make it a little shorter here. I can make the edit, I can make the captions shorter here so they're less time. I can make them longer. I can make this one uh, shorter or longer. So that's another way to make the you can either move these, edit these numbers here, or if I want, I can just go like this and and uh, move this around here. See how it, it adjusts the start time there. So that's pretty much it. That's after I'm done, I just publish my my edits, and I'm all set. So good luck with captioning. Hope you um, do well with this. And if you have any comments or feedback, leave them on this video. Thank you.